May 1942, the Germans planned to take back the Kerch Peninsula. They had already taken it in late 1941, but the Soviets took it back by amphibious landings in December 1941 and advanced to the west. Even though the objective of liberating the entire Crimea is not achieved, it has erased all hope for an easy crossing into the Taman Peninsula. The German Operation Bustard Hunt is staged to advance all the way to Kerch and push the Red Army out of the Crimea. They start the offensive on May 8th. They cross the first tank ditches in the poorly defended south, then swing north to trap the 51st Army. This forces the defenders eastwards to the next set of ditches and trenches. The Red Army has built several defensive lines stretching from coast to coast across the peninsula. Falling back line by line, the retreating forces are under constant air attack. Eventually, the Red Army will have to evacuate what is left of the 44th Army by sea. A rear guard is left behind to cover the evacuation, which takes place from the east beaches. In this mission, you are the rear guard, and it's up to you to cover the retreat. You need to hold on to the last set of trenches long enough to allow the retreating Red Army to get away. Right, we're back, episode three. This episode is the escape from Crimea. A bit topical. I love destroying tanks. Why didn't you ask me earlier? Now that looks like good position up on there. And a little bit of hard cover. I'm going to put the cannon up behind that, assuming I can mount it and drag it. Say goodbye to another Panzer Mark IV. I think there is a Mark IV. Uh, that tank looks repairable. This tank looks explodable. Now I'm going to try and um, capture tanks do that uh, my tactic is blow up the turret so it stops being offensive and then track it and at which point the crew usually bails out being immobilized and unable to fire but it doesn't have catastrophic explosion that way and it makes it that tank for example is now repairable which I'll try and do save since we're doing so well. Now if we pressed O, which I haven't done, uh, it will tell us what direction the enemy is coming from, where I ought to be placing mines, foxholes and that sort of thing. Unfortunately I never worked that out so that's where the enemy is coming from. I haven't spotted this yet. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so busy trying to repair this tank. 
that I haven't spotted. That the enemy's definitely coming from the right. Duh. Consequently, I place my mines in entirely all the wrong place. It just on the wrong side of the road and on the road and just nowhere useful at all. So every two minutes, a uh, convoy of trucks is going to drive through along that road. <coughs> and our job is to protect them all, is to make sure they get through alive. And there will be an onslaught coming from the right hand side, from the south, of tanks and infantry, and maybe even artillery. Oh, I'm going to get equipped to fight them. That 47 round drum is for the PPSH, is for the machine pistol, submachine gun, whatever. At this point I think I should just be rushing to get a load of mines out. As I said, unfortunately, here they are, the mines. I'm going to place them in all the wrong places. So, helpful. The other thing I should be rushing to do is to build foxholes and tr slit trenches. As you can see, there's no cover up there. There's no bushes, there's no rocks, there's no walls, no, no sandbags. Uh, I have to build it all at the beginning of the map. being a dingbat. Look at all these mines absolutely as far away from the enemy as I could humanly place them because I'm a genius. This is a 2 IQ gamer. And that's just <laughs> so dumb. I even mine the road look so that, so that our own trucks have trouble. Still, that's what we get for not paying attention. So a big tip that I'm learning on this one is to press O a lot and uh, there's a button if you press O for objectives that kind of highlights on the map where you should be going. It's not the only goof I'm going to make in this game. Another quite major one I'll show you in a bit. Those mines out the front there are almost going to be, well, they're not going to be useful. There's no point fooling myself. Ждем 
those last ones are approaching useful. What I should have been doing is playing them right at the top of that um, along the south face of the map I should have been sticking them all in big lines along there. And that would have helped. Well, ultimately I didn't find this map to be a particular challenge. I didn't have to reload on anything, I don't just played it straight through on one life. So not all the troops have the equipment to build foxholes, I assume the guys with the spanners all do. Uh, you can see in the little hot bar um, down along the bottom of the screen, it'll be highlighted. The last two out of the last three are the dig trench and dig foxhole. See when we there, see he's got three foxholes he can dig. Most of the troops can't dig at all, but some of them presumably have the right gear in their inventory. That's a cannon, like his spot there. It looks like that tank's fixed and ready to go. So I'm going to do what I like to do, my favourite thing with tanks, which is to hide them and to sneak them out. Periodic. I don't like them to just sit there and slug it out as a mobile bunker. I think that generally just gets them blown up. What I like to do is to uh, trapdoor spider. Just to put them down there, pop up for an opportunity kill, pop back down again. actually got some mine layers over there. I want to extended the map, it's expanded. And there's some aircraft. One of the mission objectives is to shoot those anti-aircraft down. I never find my anti-aircraft gun, it never makes it onto the map. So I fail that one, never mind. Putting a bloke in a foxhole makes them very survivable. Strongly recommended, really good defensive tactic. Thoughts begun, and this is going to be the pattern for the next for the next phase of the game. Tanks supported by infantry are going to swarm across there, as they're doing now, again and again and again and again in a, in a never-ending zerg. Never run out of tanks and men.
trying to get it so that instead of having two men in a box, oh, I've got only one. This is just to stop explosive skills. It takes almost no time to dig a fox up, it takes a very long time to dig out one of these trenches. If I shoot the um, German, the enemy plane down, the German plane down, um, my own green planes fly around the battlefield killing stuff. rotate my tank to try and keep him front facing but he's not bothering himself he seems distracted by something other than my tank they seem to get something called tank shock if you keep hitting them they're sort of so stoned in there they don't do much they don't respond they shoot back
as guys run out of ammunition like him up there, you know, I tend to start, if I can't get any more ammunition out of these trucks and there isn't that much in there, um, then I'll try and use them as repairmen to steel tanks. Bedrolls are just r rubbish, decorative. I went through the whole of that last mission carrying a massive tent on my medic. Tent? I never deployed it. I got the angle that got to get up there. So shoot down the German plane. I mean, with what? So I'll try like everyone pointing their rifles. That's pretty epically disastrous. That just results in them all trying to chase the airplane around the map and leaving there. Nicely, neatly laid out fortifications. Here we go, that I'll try and click on the plane and then it just that's not a winner. Now coming in in the northeast corner, you see the blue dots coming in, that's the reinforcements and there is an anti-aircraft gun as part of that. For some reason it never gets onto the map so I don't even see it. Frankly I don't see those reinforcements in a while anyway, but And that's what you'd use to shoot the aircraft down. Here they come, that's like 10 men, a little tank, and, uh, and the anti-aircraft gun on a truck. But the anti-aircraft gun on the truck has failed me. He hasn't found his way onto the map. And he's just a driver, he hasn't got any gunners mounted on him. I can't put the gunners on because they're off map. And oh yeah, God. Mission failed. Don't, objective failed, secondary objective failed. See, there's a whole load of failed objectives. I failed to put the sandbags in the right place, I failed to put the mines in the right place, I failed to shoot down the aeroplanes. Oh well.
think he's going to ask me to shoot this one down again, I mean, fat chance. There, there it is, look, off map to the left. That's how we're supposed to shoot the planes down, but it's bugged. Yes, objective failed. Oh well. Here comes the next wave. So I've zerged that tank with as many repair guys as I can fit around it. And then these two are going to try and repair that one. Another fiddle with him, but it's not going to happen.
Oh, it wants him. Again, I was too busy to really to work out what he's telling me here. But essentially, if you click this retreat button halfway down on the right hand side bar, uh, that ends this phase. Now, I went on to keep battling for an extra half an hour until I had only these men left, as you can see here. They had a great old shindig, took the fight to them, didn't really lose a lot of men. Spent half an hour just fighting endless zergs the same waves over and over again. Not really daring. Once I'd, I'd seen the retreat button, I wasn't. I didn't dare press it. What do you mean retreat? I want to retreat. But at this point, it is time to go. You know, the guys have got no ammo to speak of. The cannon's been blown up while I was trying to read it, rearm it. The Zergs are now uncontrollable. I just can't fight that many tanks any longer. I've decided to get my men out alive instead of fighting for the last man. But all I really need to do, what I realise at this time, is to click retreat. So I've, I've cut the, the gradual decline of my army. You see, I'm going to run up here and try and get to the artillery. But, yeah. So I click retreat, and that's all we had to do. On to the next phase. This little tank at the back is immobilised, so he's staying there for the fight. I could either take the men out, move them with me, or I'll leave him there to do what he can. So the mission is to stop that breakthrough on the left. Uh, I'm going to put that tank in on supportive firing on the opposite valley. Uh, hopefully it'll be effective. This guy, what do I do? He's doomed just to stay there. Bring him up as close as I can. I don't know if he's got the angle to get up on that plateau. Shoot up on the top of the end. I'm going to stick him there on the off chance that he gets some shots in. Now we're supposed to link up with the other guys. the actual missions this time. Right, protect the trucks protect the trucks with the with the wounded in them. They're in a kind of dip in the map that pretty easy to defend. See if I can evict that German push on the right of the trench line. These guys.
gonna have a play with their trucks, see if I can drive them out of harm's way. And the answer is no, I've just got to protect them. There's no risk being them. It's a sign of things to come. His rear machine gun, oh, turret. His turret has an infantry machine gun sticking out the back. Uh, and it found someone. Again, there's an anti-aircraft, uh, unmanned anti-aircraft gun up here that I haven't discovered yet, but as soon as I do, it's going to change things. Oh yes, it won't be like the last part of the map. Oh no. Quicker tempo of rescue. Uh, some medics down there in the hope that I could heal if I was wounded, but again, not having it, just got to defend them. So that tank's just snuck on the back map the way we came. It's going to get backstabbed by the one that's just overtaken the immobilized tank, I hope. You see the turret is spinning at it now, hence the being illuminated by line of sight. Hopefully, he'll sort that out for us. Or not. See that red blob on the mini map? It's just gone straight in, didn't get sorted out at all. There it is, right next to all the injured. That's not good. Sort it out. Um, what kind of tank is this? Is it like BT5, BT7? It's enough. There's some kind of water landing down there too. I don't know where our water pits are. Uh, there he is down on the beach, trapdoor spider again. It looks a pretty safe place, nice and cloistered. And I'll pop him up as and when I need him. <coughs> Not a very heavy tank that one, so there's no point sticking him in harm's way. Uh, this fella, shoot him in the back not getting any backstab kills, although that tank that's gone past him is now aiming the wrong way, is aiming at him as it advances. Just a bonus, I might shoot him in the back.
wonder if these maps can be played co-op. I'd very much like to do the campaign co-op. It takes a lot of pressure off to have somebody else uh, managing things. You know what I mean? It's like I've had more time to man all the guns and fix all my tanks. And sneak up and grenade things and whatever, all those things that you do. And you have more click time. Certainly for all these uh, defense missions, it's oh, they're just so much easier with extra with help. Really takes the um, takes the stress out of it. Not that I'm stressed, I'm very relaxed as you can tell. Almost asleep, I'm so relaxed. Back in your hole, trapdoor spider. Bombs drop right underneath I'm desperately trying to repair a tank. Um, I'm a bit worried if they shoot this tank next to me, uh, it'll explode and kill us all. Fearless, let's keep keep spanner and boys.
repair kits. None left. I might try and nick one out of that little stubby tank there. to try and repair a tank, so make it in the centre of a bad Give it a go anyway. That's a really big gun there. Unfortunately the barrel is damaged so that's not happening. just to shoot them as they come up, not allow him to stick his head up over the top of that. That tank at least is firing.
Right, the big gun's online. Let's see what it can do. It's a big fella. Seventy-three percent loaded to ships. Survive for a little bit longer. Then we're gonna. Win. I've suddenly worked out how to man things. You see all those white V's as unmanned guns. Here's what I should have found right at the beginning, the unmanned anti-aircraft gun. Look at that. Go on, boys. Sitting around behind that sandbag the whole fight. You could have been shooting down all the aeroplanes. Uh, I need to repair, as usual, like everything else in my life. in there but he hasn't got room I presume he hasn't got room in his inventory to pick up a repair kit can't be bothered to mess around let's get this guy to do it anything else on man So we've got a friendly plane flying around, uncontested skies, gunning up the, uh, the enemy. Seeing as the green triangles in the mini-map. Popped a little infantry there. So yes, this is the Russians retreating out of Crimea. Oh, this is. One man's the gun, the other heels. Oh, he's doing a uh, CPR on his balls. He's supposed to do his heart. That's, you know, the same. That's not how you do it. And they seem to have some sort of pathing issue because that gun's moved. They now have some pathing issue and the medic doesn't want to heal him. coming in from the coastline. 
because they're surfer enemies. Or fish. Maybe they're lizard men coming out of the sea. Maybe they're a big sort of pump up, pile up. <coughs> a big pile up up there, letting these things seem to cluster. on those planes. This engine really doesn't like picking up. I'd like to shoot that one that's going after my hands. Uh, so Those guys down on the beach are shooting at them. Remember I put that man out across the road on the gun? Lone artillery man. These guys are popping at him, so thankfully. Trapped all the spider tanks. Worked it out. Eighty four percent loaded to ship, things are looking good. I'd like to reman the water, but I don't know if it even exists anymore. I've been artillery. Oh. All right, so I'm trying to go for some cinematic angles and failing miserably. I'll try harder. Look, cinematic angles, all this burning battlefield smoke. That's the tent. I was telling you about the medic carries that tent. I mean, come on, this is clockway infantry. Nonsense. Deploy the tent. Put the tent up, quick, quick. The tent. The tank's coming. Put the tent up. These guns and tanks, man, they seem to be holding on. How many more waves can there actually be? Oh, I'm trying to get the angles again. A bit yucky, this camera. I play borderless windows, which means not only is this camera yucky, but occasionally as I try and spin too much, the mouse goes right off the screen. Oh, 
gets even more. Copyright strike on the last, not strike, I got copyright uh, issue on the last episode 2 I uploaded. The very last 10 seconds I had to wipe the sound. And the reason is the men crunching through the snow with the foot, foot, footsteps crunch, 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 tromp, tromp, followed by the drum roll for the uh, victory end of map freaked it. It, it, uh, it gave a false positive to the to the music detector, you know, to YouTube's version of Shazam, which checks if you're using copyright music. It gave a false positive. I can't remember what track it decided it was. But yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't publish it until I deleted it, because it was some pop song by Callis. Oh, God. But no, it was uh, the Russian infantry trudging through the snow. Rhythmically, apparently. They've got rhythm, those boys. <laughs> Come on, anti aircraft gun, shoot them down. I want to see them crash. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Look at the aerial dynamics of these planes. It's not very flight, so it's just kind of turned on, a, on the spot. There's a mod in Men of War where you can actually fly the planes. Oh my god, was that hard. That's what I was talking about. Six percent, almost there. Almost one of those victories like um, Dunkirk, a great victory. Um, or actually, a massive defeat. All the armies running away, but they got away. is a is a great victory.
gun run. Trying to follow him, but it's so hard to camera him. Ninety-nine percent. I think we're almost done here, folks. Hopefully if you come this far you'll be willing to like and subscribe for me. They say these have been my best performing videos, which is why I'm so keen to make more. Kind of if you um, if you like and subscribe, I notice it shows up analytics and I'm like, oh, people are interested. And then I'm in a rush to get another one out. While otherwise I've got so many other games I want to make videos on. Yet won't be quite so motivated. Motivate me! Use your mouse. Click that special button with your special clicking mouse. Please. That's it. That's a wrap. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again. Oh, well, consider coming and playing this with me. If this has a co-op,